Once you have the installation of your device done, your device will then list in the all devices window uh, inside of the console. Once it's there, you can select it uh, and then start to add a protection plan. What we'll do is we'll actually click on our actual device and you'll see over in the right pop-up panel uh, that there's a list of tabs there. And the one that we're looking for is the protect tab. So we're gonna protect our device, hit the protect tab. Now what we'll be presented here with is our protection plans. Uh, you'll see a list of already applied plans. If you don't have the plan that you want, you can hit add a plan. It will show you all of the plans uh, that are in the system. An important thing to note is it will show you in green which advanced packs and the new advanced pack licensing uh, will be applied if you choose that particular plan. Or you can create an all new plan. So let's create a plan. And again, at the very top, as you go through and create the different features within your plan, uh, you'll be shown uh, the various things. So, so right now uh, we have advanced backup up here, but if I go down here and remove data protection map, which is a feature of the advanced backup, you'll see that advanced backup goes away. If I put continuous data protection on, uh, advanced pack, uh, backup will reappear because that is also a feature of our advanced backup. So the new protection plan that we're adding here is a uh, protection plan for all of our backup, antivirus and security, and also for our patch management and vulnerability assessment, uh, all in one program. Uh, we'll start at the top, which is the backup section, and then we'll work our way down uh, to the various ones. It's important to note that there are a number of predefined plans, especially for remote office workers, uh, that are in the system so you can just select them and they're already optimized for you so you don't have to do anything more. Uh, but if you do want to create your own, uh, here's how you would do it. Uh, first thing you want to do is select what to back up and typically we recommend backing up the entire machine but you can uh, back up more granular parts including disks, volume files, or folders and even things like an individual SQL database or an individual email address in Exchange or Office 365, for instance. Uh, and then uh, we have our continuous data protection, which will allow you to have uh, protection against your most valuable applications while you're working on your data between backups. Next, uh, you'll see the list of applications that it's protecting. There are about 40 uh, plus applications that it's already protecting. Um, then we'll say, where are we going to back up? So we want to know where our storage is and you can have storage uh, either on your local device or in the cloud or both. And so you get to choose which locations uh, that you would like. Then you're going to be asked, how frequently would you like to uh, run your backups? And so you can select uh, a plan, uh, a, a scheme uh, that will allow you to do it either uh, by time or based on a particular action, like when a user logs in or logs out. And then you can choose how frequently that is to run. There are also a number of conditions that you can add to it uh, to make sure. Uh, but by default, uh, it has always incremental single file uh, when we're backing up to the cloud. Uh, that's the preferred uh, method. Then we have how long do you want to keep it? This is your retention policy. How long do you want to hold on to backups? And you can do that by age or by the number of backups, or you can keep them indefinitely. We also have an encryption feature so that you can encrypt your backups as well. You simply press the encryption button, add a password, choose an algorithm that you like, then it will be encrypted. Uh, make sure you save your encryption key, uh, very important. And then you'll see we have an application backup. There are a number of uh, Microsoft and Oracle backup options that we have here for uh, just backing up uh, the data uh, related to those applications in addition to the entire machine. So if you turn this on, uh, you will be able to have the entire data, uh, set of databases also backed up uh, while you're backing up uh, your entire machine. And then you can granularly recover just individual ones later if needed. And then we have a number of backup options that you can have uh, for very specific uh, cases. Uh, there are a ton of different uh, features in here. This is a fully featured backup program. In addition to the backup features, we have a number of other features, including the ability to add disaster recovery to your system as well. So simply toggle it on and you can start configuring that as well. We also include our antivirus and anti-malware protection, uh, which you'll recall is one of our included features when you're doing cloud-based definitions. Uh, if you want the local definitions, you're going to need to be up on our advanced edition. Same thing goes for URL filtering. That is an advanced feature that uh, prevents people from 
uh, going to certain URLs. Uh, we also have support for Windows Defender antivirus in the event that a customer wants to use that. We also have our vulnerability assessment, which allows us to know which things are out of date and patch management to apply the fixes to them in the event that they are. And we have our data protection map and device control as well. Uh, you'll also notice that we have the ability to perform our patch management and do remote desktop also uh, from this interface as well. In addition to being able to create your protection plan uh, from the, this interface, you can also go over to the uh, left-hand navigation and go to plans, and you will see that there is a complete list of all the protection plans that have already been created. And you can do create a new plan, which should look very familiar. It's very much exactly like what we just did. In addition, if you have an existing plan and you would like simply to add some uh, devices to it, uh, then you can come over here, hit the edit button, and at the top of the edit button uh, will be a manage devices and also that you can add additional devices uh, so that you can have as many plans on a particular protection plan as you would like. So that is a very convenient way to add multiple plans simultaneously and then uh, have that work out uh, so that you can manage all those devices from a single plan. And your next step, once you've uh, created the plan, is to have uh, wait for uh, the appropriate time for it to run on your agent. Uh, as soon as you're finished creating the plan, it will push out uh, that to the agents uh, affected uh, and you will start having backups. And then in our next section, we'll talk about how to recover.